All right, so reading about Lewis and Clark Ventures, there's something that I found interesting. Wearing the skins of other animals, they did that their whole journey, pretty much, and were constantly repairing and, and gaining, getting new skins. Many, many kills. They, they just they skins the animals and... At one point, they they had like, uh, like, not enough brains to to tan the skin when they were on the coast salt making, killing the elk. The elk don't have enough brains for the the whole hides, but they they were they were doing a a lot of uh, skin work, and I just it was making me wonder, you know. What, did I ever wear any leather myself? I, th I think all I've ever worn was vinyl. That's about as close as I could get to to animal skins. I don't I don't really recall ever having a any kind of a a leather jacket or just leather leather anything. Really, maybe maybe gloves had some kind of a leather in them. But that's that's it. That's the extent of my experience. I know my my parents at one time in the 70s were into the fringe on leather jackets that have the long fringe. And I believe Lewis and Clark mentioned fringe on some from maybe some of the Plains Indians. But that's that was a style that seemed to have went out. I, I think what it was getting me thinking about this was that. Uh, on the at the Oscars, they like ask, well, "Who are you wearing?" <laughs> or whatever, and I was like, "Wow, you know, like like a human skin or something." And and well, it makes me wonder, like, when did they stop wearing leather? Um, you know, what animal are you wearing? Uh, I don't think that they they. Uh, or I mean, at some point, they the animal rights groups probably put a stop to. The celebrities wearing any any an, other animal skins, and it's it's uh, something that has changed in our culture, um, and and it's it's uh, it's hard to say if it's really been um, like a change that has ruined society or made it better. I I don't know. It's, it's you can't really judge that. But we've we've definitely had a strong reliance on animal skins in animal skins in, in any way. I've read a lot of historical references, which which are just like <clears throat> just random stuff. I was listening to the Hardcore History podcast many years ago, and he talked about how Chinese in China. They were so poor that they were sewing mouse pelts together. I always found that um, amusing to 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 have heard. But there was times in in Russia, maybe the 1700s, 1600s, where they they were exclusively going to Alaska and and killing off those those sea otters, the giant sea otters that are like. As tall as a man, the way it sounds, and it's like it made me made me think. You know, maybe if there were sea otters so so large that they're almost as large as people, you could you could easily make a coat out of that. And there were they had a the otters had a skin that was very desirable. I'm not sure not sure exactly why, but whenever Lewis and Clark saw an Indian with otter skin and those are probably the smaller otters by the 1800s uh they were they were willing to to spend whatever it took to get that otter skin and the indians knew it and and charged a very high price uh whatever the wampum beads or whatever they they could trade trinkets uh fishing hooks for those for those otter skins for some reason the otter skins are one of the most were one of the most desirable skins to get and to get a giant otter skin if you could get one that's as large as a person like you could fit you you could you could skin it in a way that you'd just use the otter arms 
and 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 stuff where you just put your arms through the otter arms and and you don't really have to do any sewing at all it could be like a no sew type of skin suit you could have a full suit of of just otter that goes down to your feet without having to to sew anything it might look a little odd though i, I can't it's, it's hard to picture what a if you had a, like a suit made of otter it's so strange to think about but there's there's a time you know where they, we we've we've today we've demonized using animal skins for anything especially wearing them and uh, you know you, you think back to this when silence of the lambs came out that was it, uh something like back then or uh this is all it's all fiction because i'm i've never really heard of anybody making a suit of human skin before but that picture is like gruesome and that probably turned a lot of people off from other animal skins all right but you just you think you know we we've we've gone over to plastic and the all the polyurethane stuff whatever oil based products for for our clothes now and it's it's like it's it's not it, you wonder how like people back you know 100 200 years ago would think of all our plastic based clothes now <laughs> you know what what would be their impressions today of of that cuz I, I mean i saw a picture of indians who who like uh blew up co full cows and used them as flotation devices you could see the the whole shape of the cow it's like they they seem to have skinned it really meticulously like so they didn't have any other seams besides at the end of the legs and the and the neck and the tail tie all those ends off and you got you can make a full balloon um uh i just it's 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 strange to think how how that would have been done but there were pretty much experts on on skinning back then and i mean it's it's not I've I've uh, I've played around with s trying to skin squirrels back in Wisconsin, and you just you cut the leg, cut them off at the feet, and and then you like pull at the tail, and it it just you could rip the the skin right off in one one sweep. There's there's internet video of that. <clears throat> It'd take a lot of squirrel to to make a suit out of sewing mouth sewing squirrels squirrel pelts together to make clothes but i mean we're we're so reliant on on clothes <clears throat> we're we're our bodies just uh have have adapted to needing to wear clothes and and animal skins were it that was that was the main main way to wear clothes other than that i mean there's there's some indians on the the pacific coast who are who are uh, using bark strips and making clothes out of out of that, and apparently, according to Lewis and Clark, uh, they the Indians didn't really dress from the waist down, so they were their genitals were exposed and all that. I'm, I'm assuming, and they they mostly just wore things on their their upper part because it didn't doesn't get very cold on the on the coast so much. It gets very rainy though. They made sure, yeah, they were the Indians made hats, but that was out of out of reeds and stuff but it's just it's just interesting to to think um about skins and and there's the lewis and clark were talking about uh well i think it was meat that they talked about and skins too they talked about what animals had the best meat which seemed to be beaver um and what animals had the best skins which sound like is buffalo the buffalo had the Maybe the better the better skin for I guess clothes or something maybe moxic moccasins um, just uh, the thickness of their whatever the pliability maybe they have bigger brains they got bigger heads so they, they could tan it better or something but there's there's some skins that are not as desirable as as others like you don't I don't think you see a lot of pig skin around i don't think pig skin is very popular and and how they they dealt with the the skin is is kind of interesting they some they would uh 
it depends on what they're going to use a skin for. All right, they shave the the hairs off for for some projects or leave the hair on for others. Was, they were talking about when they're building a boat, how they were they were shaving the the hair, but then because they had this iron frame for a boat and they wanted to cover it with skins which this whole thing that whole project turned out to be a disaster a skin boat and I mean that's not an uncommon thing because they said the Indians around were using skin boats all right and I think they're like a circular bowl formed but that's that's all they that's all they, those Indians and the plains had they didn't have wood like like on the the coast, all right. Cause the Indians on the coast could make uh, canoes with their big trees that that grow up around the coast, but they didn't really have the big trees around the plains, so they were making boats out of skins. And Lewis and Clark decided to do that, probably uh, the buffalo skin, and they were shaving the the buffalo, and and they got to the point where they were running out of time. They just had to get going, so that. They just stopped shaving certain parts of the buffalo altogether and left the hair, but it just it was leaking too much what they put together, so they had to abandon that. That's the skin boats. I don't know if that's the, how, how you would call a pirogue. There's a particular word they call it a pirogue. That's like the difference between um, you know what was what is a pirogue exactly? Is it made out of wood? Is it made out of Animal skins. You can make boats out of all kinds of matter. Uh, but it's just interesting to me how how animal skins have become so demonized. All right, and and it's 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 uh, largely uh, due to the the extinction problems that we we face. I mean, it's the same with ivory and just uh, collecting antlers even if you're if you're caught walking off uh there's a peninsula in, in california where they have a game uh elk reserve and there's a sign that says if you're caught walking if you're caught with antlers if you're caught taking antlers off this reserve then you can get like in big trouble you don't even have to shoot the the elk you just take their antlers and that's enough to get into some serious government trouble so it's it's really the the human population is really extended enough to where it's it's just little little uh little missteps with with the wild animals will get you in some serious trouble um so animal skins yeah, that that's that's gonna put a bad spotlight on you if you have something with an animal skin, and 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 uh, you know it's it's just the way their culture has changed. They actually there there's a uh, like this this snowsuit on display that's like made of uh, what is it the intestines of of a whale or something like that that's on display in a museum. I mean that's that's that was for the Eskimos as a rain suit, and, and uh, something like that just just uh, you couldn't get away with. I mean people could commonly wear those animal animal um, elements of the animal on them in some way the bones and horns and and skins, and and now you you would be demonized and chastised for it. And 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 so far as to th get you thrown in jail, but you know, not even a hundred years ago, wearing wearing those those type of animalistic things, things that bring you in closer touch with animals, would would just not be a problem. There was no laws written against that, but now there is, and now now the main the main acceptable thing is is plastic based. Of type of products, wearing them or whatever, it's 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 really uh, it's really a big change, and and uh, it it's it's like it's kind of it's kind of scary how things are changing. It's because you, you don't you don't exactly know um, what's next. You know, oil oil based products are are it. Are they gonna are people gonna get even more strict about wild animals? 
he maybe raised the the stakes against killing them or or dismembering them in some way. Uh, because you know, as the human population grows, that's gonna that's gonna invade on the animals even more. So maybe there's gonna be even more protections uh, for the animals. And I was just talking to this guy. He was like, "Yeah, the the jails are are definitely there's there's plenty of room in in jails for for the homeless people for the homeless problems. So they the the government can continue to write more." laws against us and and our our homeless behaviors which have the ground roots from from uh, living off of other animals and now that's that's uh that's becoming more and more illegal as as uh the population grows and it, yeah we we grow